Each college selected one instructor through an internal competitive process for the Rick Perkins Award of Excellence in Technical Instruction. Following the individual college competitions, our three regions each held judging sessions to select their top two regional winners. Those six men and women are tonight's finalists. Now it's almost time to reveal the state winner, but first I'd like to ask our six regional finalists to come to the stage as your name is called. The six regional finalists for the Rick Perkins Award are Sharon Vaughn, Medical Assisting Instructor from Georgia Northwestern Technical College. staff and administration at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. She states that she is honored to work for the college. Lee Bradley, Computer Information Systems Instructor from West Georgia Technical College. <laughs> Lee chose to teach at a technical college because he can teach students real world skills in an academic setting. Education has always been very important to Lee, and he loves being able to share what he knows with students who want to learn. At West Georgia Technical College, he believes that he can teach students the skills that make them immediately marketable and ready to get a job. Joyce Davis, Arts and Sciences Learning Support Instructor from Oconee Fall Line Technical College. was secretary for the Job Training Partnership Act. She was promoted to JTPA coordinator and saw firsthand how the training changed lives and how the program's accountability and effectiveness enhanced the community's economic stance. Joyce vowed that she would become a more integral part of her community by gaining the training she needed at the technical college level. <coughs> Watching students' successes has been her most rewarding experience. Christy Searcy. Radiologic Technology Instructor from Augusta Technical College. Christy chose to teach in a technical college because she wanted to help lay the foundation for the future of others in the same fashion that a technical college laid the foundation for her career. She experiences great joy in helping students achieve the goal of becoming a member of a team of medical professionals. Christy tells everyone that she is privileged to help students grow personally and professionally on their educational journey. Kara Harrell, General Education Mathematics Instructor from South Georgia Technical College. Kara chose to teach in a technical college because the technical field is an area where she can best help students make the most of themselves. She feels technical education is essential for communities to thrive and be successful. Kara says it has been a privilege to have a role in helping students become successful, as well as to help in the betterment of her community. And our sixth finalist, Jean Eves Bendeville, culinary arts instructor, Savannah Technical College. Thank you, Dr. Faxton, and 
Congratulations to you, Taylor. Six finalists, great instructors, uh, great representatives of the technical college system. And I know your students and your fellow colleagues at your colleges are very proud of you. So ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 2012 Rick Perkins Award recipient for the Technical College System of Georgia as our 2012 Instructor of the Year, who will be getting a Crystal Award. <laughs> <laughs> And consequently, a $1,000 check. Our 2012 State Rick Perkins Award winner is Johnny Von. <laughs> State of Georgia. Um, I had a long career. I work a lot of years all over the world, and um, a lot of people today they ask me, "Are you ready? Are you ready?" And I said, "Of course I am." <laughs> well, guess what? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I tell you, I, I did receive some award in my career. And there is not one that touched me more than what's happening today. And uh, I don't feel that I'm a better instructor than my peers that were with me today. Um, it's just uh, maybe a little bit of luck, but um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. And. Uh, in my, uh, in my remark, I said that uh, I taught in several colleges, um, 
private college, community college, and now technical college of Georgia. The, the challenge we had, yes, we, we have challenge. We have challenge because uh, with the economy, we have to consistently retrain. Um, I would like to have a mission for me to go into high school, into uh, career center, and try also to recruit, like uh, you did mention, recruiting the youngster. Uh, I started working as an apprentice when I was 14 years old. And I'm glad I did at that age, but I always truly believe that the, we should and we must try to recruit the student as young as possible, that's me from Career Center. So this is a mission that I would like to do and I, I will do that. We at Savannah Tech starting with two uh, Career Center, one in uh, Effingham County, one in Liberty. Liberty will start in, uh, in the fall and uh, I want to keep going and continue that way. Uh, the reward I have with uh, Technical College, especially the, this Technical College of Georgia, this wonderful organization, uh, have been absolutely tremendous. And I finished my presentation today uh, to the judges and I said, if I receive this award, and I'm going to keep my promise, if I receive this award, the first people I will have to thank will be my students. I thank my students for believing, for following me. And uh, when I tell them, follow me, let's go all the way up here, and they come with me, and they are successful. This is exactly what happened to me today. So it's a great, great honor to receive this. I'm very proud, and um, I promise you I will be a great ambassador for this wonderful organization. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. as the Instructor Ambassador for Technical Education in Georgia. Now, it is time to reveal our top student.